We're going to get to what the moral of the story is, the moral of the lesson is, though. Uh, go ahead and finish that off at four. God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood. Our hands are defiled with blood. Right. And your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Our lips have spoken lies. Your tongue has murdered perverseness. We're in the all manner of false doctrine for the sake of creating our own righteousness. None calling for justice. We don't call for justice. Now this is the problem. Who are the ones who are supposed to be tasked with calling for justice? Right? In a, in a patriarchy like Israel. It's the men. It's the brothers. But if the brothers is all into all the goddamn gangster rap, all the trap music, and that's all they know to consume, and they're not taking in what's right from wrong, they're not looking at what's in the best interest of their people. If the rulers are not doing that, then what are the people under them, under their tutelage, going to do? We are in a nation of people where our elders, 50 years old, will stand on the corner with us 16 years old, holding their dicks like they still in high school. And we look up to these men like we're supposed to be able to find our way out of a paper bag. But under that total list, we couldn't find our way out of a wet paper bag. We are holding the wrong people to our highest thing. We are following the leadership of the wrong people. And it's been this way for far too long. So we call it out to you black, Hispanic, and you Native American men saying, when is it going to be that you're going to stand the hell up and start to actually show the youth something? Instead of standing on the corner with that 16-year-old boy holding your dick like you in the same goddamn high school he goes to, when are you going to show him something that's really beneficial for him? Right? Because you ain't sufficiently showed him how to double up that dope money and then double up again and double up again so he'll be doubling up ever since like Tupac said. You've told him to kick that only God can judge me bullshit and he's believed it and he's grown up and he shared a cell with you. He's now leaving the household where his kids are coming up, blaming it on the girl, right? Until we do away with the mindset where the men can sit back and go along to get along and expect the best from out of the women and the children, we used to, we gonna have a goddamn problem on our hands. All right, go ahead. Nor any pleading for truth. Nobody pleads for truth. Right, the men out here, they gonna plead for something. to make it to look like he's ever the victim. Like there's no accountability for him to take. All the nigga wants to do is grab guns and let's get together and shoot somebody because he can't think on any other level. Why? Because he allowed the plantation master to, to reduce him to such an idiot. Right? So now here we are deep in the belly of this peace with nobody to help think for the nation. Because as a nation we've stopped thinking according to the ways of the most high God. Right. So now it's time to appoint new leaders, the Most High God says. Right? And what we're doing is raising up you young black, Hispanic, and Native American men so you can come on the front line and be those niggas that your people need because your elder's not doing it. Your chief, your chief, he's not doing it. He's driving a Bentley because he doesn't give a goddamn about what's going on to our tribe. You followed him for too long. That nigga that was supposed to show you how to get rich or die trying, he don't give a damn about you. That's You've right. been following him for too long. You've been following uh, the, the top 100 on iMusic uh, new rap playlist for too long. Any artist that can make a million dollars, he just knows the facts of life and he can guide you properly. You've been taking on that ideology for far too long, isn't it? You Go. blacks, Hispanics, and you Native Americans. Bring it out. You've been learning the, the politics, how to vote, and how to do this and that makes XYZ like it's going to give you a foot up in this nation, and it's not. You've That's been following right. the ways of your oppressor for far too long. And you're not going to break the mold by following the mold. Right. They trust in vanity and speak lies. The leaders that you follow right now, they trust in vanity and speak lies. 
They believe in, uh, what do you call that doctrine? Um, prosperity doctrine. God. They believe that as long as you believe in God and you sow a, a $10,000 seed, that you're going to get a $100,000 seed. And it's, a, it's ordained to happen in the name of white Jesus. Even if this whole economy collapses and nobody uses goddamn American dollars anymore. That's what they want you to believe is that this nation will go on forever. What? Right. The book of Amos, chapter 7, verse 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife, she, thy wife shall be in harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword. Isn't so that what we see in this society? We see in our children dying real early by the sword, by the hands of our oppressors. And we see our sisters hoeing in the goddamn streets. Good. And hell, they don't got a hoe on the streets. They got hoe on the internet. That is the epidemic that we're facing right now. Go ahead. And thy land shall be divided by line. Our, our land is divided by lines. Our land right now in the, in the land of Israel is divided into four parts and four manner of heathen and different religions in the name of other gods. They get to split our shit up and dwell in it according to their own will. While we over here at the bottom of the Americas, while we in the bottom over in the goddamn UK, waiting for our time to come. But we're waiting for our time to come in vain because we don't want to start to think correctly. We don't want to start to follow the proper measures in order to come out of such a captivity. Right? We don't want to do the spiritual work. We're too busy committing adultery as a nation instead of being obedient and serving to the Most High God. And thou shalt die in a polluted land. We die in a polluted land. It don't get no more polluted than Babylon. Which means confusion, right? Let's get Hosea 4 and 12. Hosea 12, and I want you to read the 14, by the way, Sean. Yeah. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 12. My people ask counsel at their stops. We ask counsel of other gods, and we wonder why it's a problem. Oh, Buddha, come off the uh, dresser and, and save me with your fat ass. Why did Jesus come out the picture frame and save me, even though he had everything to do with the enslavement of your people? Right, go ahead. And their staff declared unto them, for the spirit of boredom has caused them to err. The spirit of has caused us to error. We commit error because we will conflate ide ideals from one nation, another nation over here, and we'll mix it up with what Most High God said, and they'll think it, it should work. Like you can't even, you're not even, you're not even equipped to build IKEA furniture at this rate. But you want to speak in the name of the Most High God, conflating Him and His words with other gods. The Most High said, "Don't do that. Don't even put another God in my face." But we do it every day, right? all the damn sacrifices and burn incense upon the hills under oaks and poplars and elms and they burn sage in their houses to get negativity out their house God. because the shadow thereof is good the shade thereof is good when you need shade anything looks good I guess when you don't have faith right when it gets too hot and you need some comfort, I guess I might as well go settle under these other branches, under these other nations for something temporary, right? Wrong. We supposed to be able to and willing to hold out for the most high God. Good. That's what being faithful is, go ahead. Therefore, your daughters shall commit whoredom and your spouses shall commit adultery. You can't control your spirit, you can't control what it is, you can't control your flesh when it comes to serving the Most High God and being the priest, the prince, the king, the leader that you're supposed to be, then your daughter, she's not gonna be able to control her crotchal regions. What? She's not gonna be able to help but bust it open for any old Tom, Dick, and Harry, right? And this is what we're seeing in this society. They're even going as well to deal with the white man now, what? right? 
it's because of the ball that we started to roll in by disobeying the Most High God and teaching our people not to obey the Most High God as well. Bring it out. That's what you see going on in the Black, Hispanic, and Native American community. Hold that, and let me get Matthew 5 and 17. Good. What did what the hour side of the world called Jesus Christ say what happened when a man will go as far as to not keep the commandments and teach his people not to keep them as well? The book of St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. His son didn't, most High son didn't come to destroy the law. Right? He came to teach us how to do it. Go ahead. Or the prophets. He didn't, he didn't come to do away with any of the prophecies that still need to come to pass. Right. He told us that it's time to look forward to these prophecies. That the kingdom of heaven is nigh at hand. Right? Go ahead. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He came to fulfill certain prophecies pertaining to his death. You can see that in Acts chapter 3 verse 18. Go ahead. For verily I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Hamashiach Yahushai said, Not one piece of the law is going to pass till all is fulfilled. And so, therefore, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, whoever breaks one of these small, itty bitty commandments, and shall teach men so, or even teach men to break one of these itty bitty commandments, right? He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. He's going to be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So if we think in a cyclic nature, right? If we take heed of what we read in the book of Sirach, where it says, as the ruler of the people are, so will the people be. If that ruler is teaching his brothers and his sisters not to keep the commandments and to teach other people not to keep the commandments, then surely the whole goddamn nation is going to be despised out of all people. That's what we see seeing. We see seeing the people that fill the church houses and also fill the streets with iniquity. Sunday after goddamn Sunday, committing the most adultery, filling the prison systems. Right, putting the most in the collection plate, seeing the most deaths in their family members before natural causes can even get to them. Because we are not serving the most high God. So this is the problem that we're facing as a people is that we have allowed men to teach us not to keep the commandments and we have gone as far as to do so ourselves as a nation. And because of that, we are the in this kingdom. Right. Right, but there's a kingdom coming where we are going to know better and we are going to do better and we're going to be set back on high above all nations That's on the right. face of the earth. But first, we have to confront we have to confront this real ugly revelation is that our brothers have been lacking in these last days. That's right. The black, Hispanic, and Native American man has been lacking in the last days. Bring it on! The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 14. I will not punish your daughters when they commit murder. So guess what? Now at the now as the men. We have to deal with what the Most High dealt with when we was committing adultery and teaching our people to do so, right? Now when our women go out and they want to do all manner of boredom, when they want to cause all kind of hell in the household, the Most High God is going to let them get away with as a punishment to us. Right. And then the problem with that is they're going to have to get hit with fire in order to repent themselves. Right? It's going to be a it hurts me more than it hurts you situation. Because now in our right minds, we know better and we see what's coming. God. So it's a double it's a double whammy type of ass whooping. Right? So we got to come out here and we got to lead our people properly in hopes that the 33.3% that are supposed to take heed to this word and stop committing whoredom behind the most high God. Right? Come out here and hope that we can bring them in. That's right. That righteous remnant, right? That's right. That's what our work is supposed to be in long suffering and in patience. Good. Right? Nor your spouses when they commit adultery for themselves are separated with poor and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore, the people that do not understand shall fall. Though, though thou. Israel play the harlot, yet let not Judah offend. But it's too late. Judah had already offended like we read. 
We went and we committed even more iniquity than the Northern Kingdom. Let's drop that and get Jeremiah 50. Good. Jeremiah 50, verse 7. Yeah. Which one, Jeremiah 50 and 57? God. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 7. All that found them have devoured them. Now, because of our downfall, all that have found us have been able to devour us. Right. They have been able to take advantage of us time and time again. And the most high, he's not going to correct it until we repent. He's waiting for us to realize that it was him that blessed us with everything, remember? That's right. Like we just read. Go ahead and finish that out. And their adversaries said, we offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord. See, back in ancient times, the other nations knew if right. we were sinning, the Most High God wasn't going to have our backs. But if we was on point, the Most High God was going to protect us. Bring so these out. nations, they feel like, you know, you guys are the ones gunning in each other down. What about black on black crime? What about the black people that sold black people into slavery? Right? What about the Aztecs were sacrificing each other? Right? These are the things that they will say. They are doing wickedness, so we can't be in the wrong. Right? So it's not really phasing them to cry out for mercy to a people who just want to devour you and take advantage of you. The proof been in the pudding. We've been seeing that when we cry out. They speak wickedness about the things that we see as heavy in our eyes, right. the things that are affecting us the most. Right. They don't care nothing about it because guess what? It's to our detriment, but it's always been to their betterment. Right. Why was it? Why would it be any skin off the back for another black man to die for a white man? Right. That's another black man he don't gotta kill. That's right. The habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. We move out of the midst of Babylon. Now we got to remove out of the midst of Babylon, but it all starts with us removing from our minds these different ideologies from all these different people that have made us so neglectful in these last days. That's right. So negligent of the tax that the Most High God has raised us up to, to, to carry out, right? Let's drop that and let me, let's get Lamentations 4 and 17, by the way. Lamentations 4 and 17. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes has yet failed for our vain help. Our eyes have failed for our vain help. We've been looking for something and we've not been finding it, right? What is right. that? In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So we, we, we left off on the wrong foot with the wrong people ruling over us of our own group, right? People who don't care about what the Most High got going on. People who have led us to commit adultery against the Most High God, right? When we saw that their knowledge and their wisdom failed them when this white man was able to take us into captivity, what did we begin to do? We began to look to the white man for salvation from a hell he put us into. Like he didn't intentionally put the crabs in the bucket, right? Like, there's not a purpose for the condition that we are in. Right, bring that up. Right, so we look into him to solve our problems when we really should be looking internally. Why? Because the Most High God dwells amongst us. He's just waiting to bend his ear when he hears that we have repented and started to do the things That's required right. of us. Right? Let me start. You read it? Verse 18. They hunt our steps. See, these other people don't they hunt our steps. And we gotta start to single out the people in our community that hunt our steps as well. And we need to stop giving them the credentials that we give them. Treating them like they're somebody to be looked up to. Somebody to be sought after. Those are undesirables. Those are people that need to be put out from the midst of the children of Israel. That's right! People that teach the, the people beneath them not to keep the commandments. That we cannot go in our streets. Until we do that, we're not going to be able to go in our streets. It's going to be people patrolling our neighborhoods that don't look like us, don't know our experience, and don't care to share it. And we rejoice at the name of the Most High God that they don't have to be one of us. That they could just kill us at the drop of a dime so they can earn their wage for the day. Right. Our end is near. Our end is always near to us because sin is always near to us. 
the commandments of some other God or that God itself is always near to us. And so because of that, death is always near to us. Right. The curses of Deuteronomy said that our lives would hang in doubt That's all right. the days of our life. And don't they? My, 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 don't they? Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of heaven. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of heaven. You're not getting a response from the police if, if you slap your woman if you're a white man in written right now, right? right? They're not calling the police on you. But if, I guarantee you, if you're a nigga, they're going to be here as swift as eagles fly. Bring it up! At the drop of a goddamn hat. Because that's the way this place is built up. Extreme prejudice, they exterminate us. That's right! And it's time for us to wake up and smell the tyranny. It's time for us to use that as motivation maybe you realize that we really had it made when the most high was dealing with us that's right and that there's no warmer no safer no more comfortable place than under his under his wing all right let's go ahead and drop that right. and let's get ezekiel 7 and 23. ezekiel 7 and 23. we keep following after these numb schools of our people these murderers pedophiles dope dealers the big homie in general, we keep following after these people. Then what's gonna happen? We gonna keep going through the same cycle again and again. The same goddamn cycle. The book of Ezekiel, chapter seven, verse 23. Make a chain, for the land is full of bloody crime. Oh, sorry, God said, look, I'm gonna chain off the land where you live at. I'm gonna quarantine your land because the land is full of bloody crime. Right. Like you go to a, you go to a house where there was a, a, a shooting or a murder committed, what they do? They tape it off. That's right. They tape it off and say that you know you can't go in. You might end up tampering with some evidence. This is a crime scene. Bring That's what up. the Most High God has done with our land, as far as our concern, because the land is full of bloody crimes. That's right. And it's that way because the people that were leading us were causing us to err. They were causing us to err because they weren't leading us according to the laws of the Most High God. And the Most High God is penalizing us by having us um, see those same types of consequences right here and now in Babylon. The same people that's leading us is causing us to err. Right. Whether it's uh, Big Homie Jody over there, or it's the sisters that have been put into place to lead now because the niggas is all gone. Right? And the city is full of violence. The city is full of violence, right? That's a reflection on us, which, which makes it about, look, if we don't reform our mind, and it don't matter what land we go to, we're going to keep we gonna keep committing bloody crimes. Right. We're going to keep being the, our own worst nightmare, right? Talk about black love. The problem with black love is this. Black folks don't love themselves. We have to learn to love ourselves, and the Most High God has shown us how to do that. If we are willing to listen, right? It can't be about the men pointing at the women and saying, oh, it's y'all sister's fault. And it can't be the sister standing on the other side pointing at the brother saying, oh, it's the brother's fault. Bring that up. We gotta acknowledge the situation for what it is. We gotta acknowledge the experience for what it is. We gotta chew down and swallow down on what needs to be swallowed down, and we gotta spit out what needs to be spit out. Go. Correct what needs to be corrected. And don't write, don't fix what ain't wrong, right? That's the way that we That's need right. to go about it. Be damned uh, the feelings of it all, right? Go. Enough with the bullshit. Because what's gonna happen is one day, if this cracker had his way, he would utterly extinguish us, exterminate us, while we bickering back and forth with each other about dumb shit.